Hey guys, I'm Brian from Alpine Campers. So today I want to talk to you about the electric actuators that lift your roof up. Now not every van has these, um, it is an option. But, um, so this is basically what an actuator looks like. Uh, and they're 12, 12 volt worm drive that pushes the shaft in and out like that. Um, we've had a couple cases where the screws in the top housing here, which is only a steel plate, have stripped. Now we spoke to the supplier about this 12 months ago, who we believe they were getting knocked in transit and allowing the screws to strip. So what they've done is they've changed their process of packaging now when they send to us. But any vans that have the actuators in them, what we're doing is replacing the screws with a longer screw. So any van that comes in for a service or um, before it goes out, we're replacing that with a bit of Loctite. Anyone that's on the road, we're more than happy to send you those screws to replace them, okay? But just so you're aware, if these actuators get out of sync with that top plate coming loose, the computer will shut down, okay? So uh, it's important if you can just keep an eye on those screws until you replace them. The actuator is just up here and the screws and the plate is just here. All right, so what I'm gonna talk about next is on how to reset the computer. Uh, so that'll be the next process. So now I wanna to talk to you about how to reset the computer if your actuators or your roof is not moving. Now, these are the two computers. So this is the computer for a 13 and 14. You see it's only a smaller one. And this is the one for a 15 and 16 foot. The both have the same reset button just here underneath. It's a little black button. Now, what happens is, say your roof gets stuck when it's up, and it only takes the actuators to get out of sync a little bit. Now, usually it's from catching something, or you just have to look around your scissors, your top plates and your cover, um, seal plates to make sure nothing's stopping it. Once all that's right, to get your roof down, you need to get it all the way to the bottom to reset it. So what we do is we push this reset button in for three seconds at a time and the roof will come down in very small increments. Now it might take up to 30 times to hold that in to get it down to the bottom. It has to get down to zero. Now when you know it's to the bottom, you usually can't hear any actuators moving at all. Okay? Once that's down to the bottom, you need to hit the isolator switch, which is just in the front boot here. Now it looks like a light switch, so we turn that off for a couple minutes. And then to drain all the power, we press, press the up button once, and we press the down button once, and that drains any excess power out. Once we've done that, we turn the isolator back on, okay, and then we hold this reset button in for 15 to 20 seconds. Once you've done that, you should be able to press the up button on the toggle switch and away it goes again, all right? So talking more about the electric roof lift, these are your actuators that lift the roof. This is your computer, and this is your reset button just underneath here. Now, one main thing that people make the mistake is if they leave the latches on the main roof and try and hit the up button, it will bend the roof piece of cake. So that's why we've fitted this isolator switch just here, which looks like a light switch. So it is so important that you leave that isolator switch off while the roof latches are on. So when you get up to camp, you remove the latches, you turn the isolator switch on, and then you can press the up button just once and the roof will go up. When you bring the roof down, when it gets to the bottom, you turn the isolator switch off and then you put your latches on. All right?